Hey guys, I'm Jerry James Stone, and this video is brought to you by Fair Enough. I'm super excited because we're gonna show you how to make pancake art. I have pancake artist extraordinaire, Jasmine Reasonably. <laughs> Did I say it right? Reasonably. I still can't do it, but that's okay. We're gonna film a lot today, so it's okay. She's with Get Caked. You're gonna show us how to get started in making pancake art. Yes. What's step one? Step one, you gotta make sure you have all your tools set up. So first thing you need, you need some bottles. You need some towels, squeeze rider bottles, and then you're ready to go. Next thing we gotta do is make some of our fair enough batter, and afterwards we take these bottles, drop some food coloring in them. Go ahead and take one of these for me, put okay. your finger on top, Okay. and we gotta give them a good shake. So we shake, 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 make sure the color It's like a Taylor Swift song. <laughs> yeah, shake it up, there you go. Constantly shaking, and then when you're done and you have the batter completely mixed through, what you wanna do is take your small bottle, and then you start squeezing on the inside. Now this is gonna be the easiest way to make sure that you fill these small bottles without making a mess. Now, how much batter do you need for like a, a regular, what's, I don't even know what a regular pancake art is, but like. One pancake, is that Yeah, like one pancake, that seems reasonable. Yeah, one, one pancake. pancake <laughs> honestly, you would just need one packet. That's one it? packet of fair enough batter. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. great. And then after that, what you would wanna do is pick your favorite cartoon character or a picture that you're familiar with, and then basically just take your time, sketch it out on paper at first, and then after that, you wanna take it to the griddle. All okay. right. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite thing to draw? My favorite thing to draw has to be Disney characters. Nice. It's a heavy hitter, I know, uh, I also, I mean, I live next to Disneyland, so that's a big thing for <laughs> me too, of course, but I love to draw Disney characters. We're also gonna make a Louie, right? We're gonna do this guy. We're gonna do that guy. So Louie has actually traveled the world <laughs> to find the best ingredients for us, and we actually use exclusively their pancake batter for all of our pancake art. I like the little pour thing, that makes it easy, because flour is so messy, right? Yeah. And especially when you're kind of dealing with this, if you're doing mass amounts of batter to make drawings, exactly. like that's a lot of flour that you have to deal with. Yeah, have you ever had to mix a pancake or you know, take it out of the box, you cut the top off and you don't want to use it all? Right. That's what that's for. Oh, hey, I didn't mm -hmm. even think about that. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah, that's what that's for. Smart, fair enough. Mm -hmm. So once you have all that done, you want to make sure that you have a non-stick griddle. That's actually the most important piece. Okay. A non-stick griddle. And then you kind of just have a little bit of fun after that. It's, so, you just jump into the drawing. You just jump into the drawing, yeah. Now, if someone wanted to get started with this, what's the easiest way for them to get started? The easiest way is, like I said, you want to draw it on paper first. As soon as you have it drawn on paper, you want to have that paper set out right next to you. Following that, turn the griddle on warm, let it cook for a little bit, get seasoned. So that way when you lay down that pancake bit, uh, batter, what's gonna happen is it's gonna stay perfect. It's gonna keep the lines, it's gonna hold everything real nice and tight for you, and it's not gonna run. Now the first pancake, when you're making pancakes for like a crowd, is mm -hmm. always the worst one, right? It never looks that great. Does yours look, does the first one even look good? I gotta be honest, it's very nerve wracking. Okay, <laughs> so sometimes what happens is one time, I had myself and my apprentice with me, and we were both on our first flip, and both of us, we messed up the entire pancake. And I'm talking about crowds of people are watching us, so you hear and you feel you know, the pressure anytime you make a pancake. But again, we practice as much as we can, so at the end of the day, when we go out in front of crowds, we like to have fun. It's usually easy, but people do give us a curveball every so often. <laughs> they try to challenge us, which is even better because we like challenges here. Awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how long does it take you to actually draw a pancake, like on average? Whenever we do have that person that wants to challenge us, it can take anywhere between 20 minutes to, I don't know, even 30 minutes sometimes. But again, it really just depends on the details of the pancake itself. What's the weirdest thing you've ever drawn? I can't say <laughs> without getting in trouble. <laughs> but we've gotten some pretty weird things. One of the main things I always tell people is, look, I will draw you any pancake that you would like me to draw you, so long that I don't get in trouble for drawing it. Those videos will be coming to our XTube channel. <laughs> so what I typically do whenever I start with pancake art, um, and what I always recommend for people to start with is the face. You wanna always start with the eyes because then you can always proportion it out afterwards. If you start with the head, you might have too big of a head that doesn't fit everything. But it's always nice to start inwards and then work your way outwards if you guys are trying pancake art at home. Now what's the temperature that you have on the grill here? Right now, I keep the temperature on warm. And again, I do recommend that for everybody that's giving pancake art a try. And the reason why I keep it on warm is because 
it actually holds all of the pancake batter in a pretty like stiff motion for me. So I say, think of your bottles as giant Crayola crayons. <laughs> Whenever you draw with a Crayola crayon, it doesn't actually run. So you keeping the batter and the griddle on warm will actually work best for you. Awesome. So we're using the Fair Enough pancake mix here for this and you're drawing their logo, which is Louie. How many times have you got drawn this guy? Oh, we've drawn this guy a lot. We actually <laughs> ran to a convention with them before, so Louis is actually very famous among us pancake artists. And this this flyer has a pretty interesting story too. It's been around for a very long time, right? It's been since 1704, I believe that's correct? That is correct, yeah. And you know, like, I didn't know this at first, but they're actually an 11th generation family now. And the oldest run mill in Luxembourg. The oldest run mill. Mm -hmm. That's pretty chill. It is pretty chill, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> you make it look so easy. It's honestly taken so long before I've actually gotten to this point. So before I used to, I honestly used to burn pancakes. I don't like to talk about it much, <laughs> but I used to have a tough time with making pancakes, just as anybody would when you guys learn a new skill. But I always tell people, if you practice, if you stick with it, I guarantee you things are gonna get easier but again, you got to get through that first uphill climb when it comes to trying any new skill. I don't know. I feel like every face I would do would end up looking like the guy from Mask. <laughs> the same guy every time? Every single time. <laughs>
It's not going to be hot when you get home. <laughs> it's not going to be as tasty when you get home as it would be if you ate it right now. Awesome. You make it look so simple. Well, to be honest, it's been a long time since I've been doing pancake art, but that's really all it takes. It's been two years. Two that doesn't, whole that doesn't years. seem very long. I was. Oh, you, you gotta <laughs> count. I had to teach myself how to draw and then do pancake art at the same time. So all in all, it was a process to learn it and really get good at it. But that's all it takes. So someone wants to dive in. You guys now know how to make pancake art. You've seen her do it. Mm -hmm. You want to try it. How do they get this stuff to get started? Like what's, where do they go? Easiest way to get it, we're actually offering a pancake art kit. Awesome. Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. See you guys.